I must apologise for my state of disarray, but I have just returned from a brief stay in London. On the way home in the train, as I was wrestling with a plastic wrapped sandwich from Mark's and the buffet attendant was pouring hot beverages into the lap of the couple seated across from me, I suddenly remembered that I had missed sending a card to my friend on his birthday. As it is too late now, I have literally rushed into the house, not stopping for anything, turned on the computer and here I am to relay my best wishes in person. I did enjoy my time in London but it's a relief to be back if I'm honest. Apparently when you brush your teeth at night you are using water which has already been drunk by 79 people earlier in the day. So, but, so my friend tells me. So it's no surprise that the tea doesn't taste right. It must be full of saliva and, and, and what not. But I must admit, I love travelling on the underground. It awakens some inner demon in me. I wait until the train sets off. And then I make eye contact with somebody in the carriage. After the initial shock has worn off, they generally shuffle sideways in the seat. And I can see them thinking, I wonder what she got. And I hope I don't catch it. I do find Southerners interesting. Of course, that's the main difference between us. We find them fascinating, but they have no interest whatsoever in Northerners, which, in my opinion, is all you really need to know about the government. Take fracking, for example. It would suit them just fine if Scotland became independent, and then everything between Berwick and Coventry just blew up and disappeared into a hole. And, of course... Any survivors would be homeless and, and therefore ineligible to vote. Anyway, I digress. Stephen. Stephen Preble. Stephen Preble in Cornwall. This is for you. Oh, and I did get your message about wanting a shout out for your birthday. So if you let me know what one is, I'll try and find one for you. I'm not sure we have them up here. In the meantime, I hope you've had a wonderful day and don't forget to check out the local B&Bs. Find a good one. Ask them if you can check the beds for broken springs. Any establishment worth its salt will let you have a quick fertile in the bedroom and tell them I shall be down in a few weeks' time. With much love to you, Stephen, and they're wishing you a very happy birthday. This is Edna signing off. Oh, buggeration! Oh.